many of you have to play tennis? I am so glad that Abby has a sport and she's been telling me she's wanted tennis so I'm just really glad that she finally has her day to learn and to shine. Yeah, there you go, that's good. The high starting next Tuesday is gonna be 66, 65, 66. Get your jackets ready. Um, and are those my earrings? No, they were well, they were in my drawer. So I don't know. They're cute. They are mine. You can have them. You need me to sign this? What am I signing? Honey, I can't sign that you did a good job on your report if I don't actually read it. Well, you already read it. You just told me to spell some things that correct and I spelled them correctly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Chad, no. let go of your sister. <laughs> you let Chad, stop it. Uncle. 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 Say uncle. Uncle Chad. Uncle, you let go. <laughs> uncle, stop it. Uncle, stop it. Uncle, you let go. Uncle Chad. Uncle Chad. Uncle Chad. <laughs> you actually stink really bad. <laughs> <laughs> what Chad. makes him smell bad? It smells like child sweat. Like, there comes an age. I'm gonna smell like that. There comes an age where child sweat smells like dust, okay? Ew. I don't know why. And then there comes an age where it starts smelling like onions. Yeah, it's your jacket. Just put your jacket in the wash. I think you've just worn it maybe several times. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell it, but it's not as bad as Sherry's saying it is. It's as bad, it's as bad, it's as bad. But you do need to wash your jacket. You don't even use your headphones. Let me have them. No. She doesn't even use them. Yes, I do. I use them when I go hey, to the gym. Hey, mom got each of us headphones. What happened to Chad's? Those are the <laughs> crappiest headphones ever. Chad's? Chad? 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 My phone. Why don't you just buy a pair? How much like are they? Two hundred dollars? Are you kidding? Then why would we just give you ours? And he tried to buy it for thirteen. Because they don't eat. You don't know. You don't. <laughs> Goodbye. Love Goodbye. you. Your sweater is in your drawer. I folded it and put it in your drawer where it actually belongs. Chad, phone. Let's go. All right, Nolly. It's just you and me. No. A couple summers ago, I asked you guys if I should chop my hair and do a pixie cut. And the majority of you said, no, keep your hair growing. And it was at an awkward stage, but I'm glad I listened. I really enjoyed my long hair, but it is getting really dark on the roots. It's been six months since I have walked into a hairstylist. So today I'm going to brighten my roots a little bit and just give a little bit of a trim because on Monday, I'm gonna be on TV for the second time. And I am crazy, crazy nervous. I am going to take you with me to the salon. Okay. And we're gonna be there a long time. Okay. It's gonna be like probably three hours. While we're there, I'm gonna pack you a little bit of lunch and maybe a couple toys that you can play with or color with. Are you going to say, Mom, I'm bored, and start crying? Are you? No, because you're going to think you might pack me toys. But you're going to get bored with it, and I just don't want you crying or running around. Can you get up and go talk to other people who are getting their hair done? Yeah. No. No, no. <laughs> say no. Are you going to get up and go talk to other people who are working? No. You're going to sit where I put you and you're gonna listen and do exactly what I say. Do you understand? Yes. Say yes, mama. Yes, mama. Go downstairs and pick two of your favorite books that you would like. Doctor. Doctor and telling the truth. Go put them in your backpack. This is gonna be my secret weapon. Am I nuts for taking Eve to the salon and making her sit quietly for three hours? Mm. 
Am I crazy for doing this right before going on TV? What if it doesn't work? It's like cowgirl. You got your cowgirl boots on. That's good. I'll put it on the lid so I can erase it. Eve just informed me my hair is blue. Should I be scared, Eve? Do you like me with blue hair? <laughs> is it pretty? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's pretty or not. This little girl has been the best. She has cried not once. Hey, Savannah. Okay, hey. run up there. You want me to teach her like basics or? She has never even held a tennis okay, racket, so okay. just, just start, start from 101 and she can just learn to hold the racket and mm -hmm. maybe just playing is the best okay. way to learn. Yeah, I don't know. Can do that. It's up to you. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. How many of you out there play tennis? <laughs> a. You know what, maybe you could take one of these home and just throw it against the wall and then catch it to help improve your hand-eye coordination. And when you come back, you might find that you're hitting more than you did this time because your hand-eye coordination has improved. So how was tennis? It was good. Do you love it? Are you going to come back and play more? Savannah, you're hired. You're the best. Good job, Abby. Can I take a ball? I am so glad that Abby has a sport that she can do. All of the kids have a sport, and Abby's been wanting to get into sports. And she's been telling me she's wanted tennis, so I'm just really glad that she finally has her day to learn and to shine, and we worked it out.